guys, welcome to Nerd Bites, and this is going to be my thoughts for the next trailer for Avengers Infinity War. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, God, it's so close now. It's about a month away. Oh, and this trailer just didn't show too much of the story about what we know, but it just gave you a little bit more scenes and... Oh, I'm so pumped. I like, literally had goosebumps at least four times in this trailer. You, you've got the opening dialogue with Gamora explaining to people about him and everything, how he wants to destroy the world, and then you've got Tony like uh, saying, tell me his name again. You can see in his brain, I'm already formulating a plan. We've got to take this guy down. And then you've got him monologuing over the top saying he's got what we've got what he wants. We've got the stones. Let's use it to our advantage and that kind of stuff. I love that scene as he's going up towards the ship and then that... The, the tech just gives him an extra like boost and he fires up, that's really cool to see. Get, I think, a couple of flashbacks as well. We get like Thanos in old school armour, there's even a scene at some point where he's holding Gamora's hand when she's a little child. So those little flashbacks are going to be really interesting to the story, I'm glad they're doing a little bit like that. Because it's always been interesting to find out about Gamora and Nebula, if we get a little bit of backstory there when those two meet up with Thanos, as they probably will in this film. To get that little bit of extra backstory is going to be a nice little extra bit. You do see a few more bits of the Black Order as well, especially, uh, I can't remember the Thin One's name, but it looked like he was punishing Doctor Strange, like Strange is pinned down with all these like needles, and I mean, that that was cool alone. Thor, you see him getting his head like crushed by Thanos', Thanos uh, hand, and in, within the same scene, you see the Black Order, but Loki is standing beside them. Now that really interests me, because I thought maybe he might give him the Tesseract in a way of saving Thor and like everybody on Asgard, but by him standing by the Black Order quite comfortably by the looks of it, he may just be going bad again. He may end up being on the bad side. I generally don't know about Loki. I, I'm really, I can't make my mind up. And this is the brilliance about the character. You don't know which side he's meant to be on. And that is, they keep it intriguing. You see some more action shots of them fighting on the planes, loads of these, uh, these alien creatures, taking down the Hulkbuster armor as well, just absolutely decimating it. Uh, you see, obviously, all the other characters like suit up and whatnot. That's really, uh, again, cool stuff. Uh, the monologuing as well with uh, Thanos over the top saying, I'm just going to destroy everything. I hope they remember you. I quite like that little line. It's kind of like, I don't know who that's supposed to be towards, but maybe it's towards the Avengers to say, like, you might fight fight bravely, and you know, I, I applaud you for that, but you're not going to win against me. But I hope people remember that you tried. You know what I mean? Maybe it's something like that. The little quick scene, the funny scene as well, when you first see Iron Man and... Um, Star-Lord and Spider-Man all standing together and Star-Lord is saying, let's not do your plan because your plans suck, let me do it and the plan might be good. Just that little bit of chemistry just to see them together, it's it's awesome. Just, I, it's, it's, it gets me so giddy thinking they're actually going to be on the same screen together. I mean that final shot as well of Thanos swinging in for Cap and Cap just grabs his hand and he's forced and he's He's really trying, forcing him out away from his hand, and oh, that shot was epic, and then it goes into the title card. Awesome. And then you get that little extra scene at the end saying, oh, hi, I'm Peter, and he's a hi, I'm Doctor Strange. Oh, we're using the nicknames, are we? Oh, well, I'm Spider-Man. And you see the next thing of him webbing through all this destruction. I imagine it's on the planet Titan, which is where Thanos is from. I imagine we're going to get quite a lot of that. And yeah, you just see him swinging through it, and then bang, it comes up when it's coming out. Oh, just everything about it. Awesome. Guys, I, I mean, I'm so fucking pumped for this film. It's unreal how pumped I am for this film. I've been waiting for this, as we all have, since 2008. And just... Oh, God, I can't wait. This trailer was awesome. Just everything about it was perfect. Didn't give too much away. Just gave you a little bit of tidbits here and there. A little bit more of what Thanos can do. Uh, character buildings here and there. Little moments that you love. But, it has, again, it hasn't taken too much away. It hasn't shown too much of what's going on or what will happen. No real spoilers. But... It was epic, got me pumped, goosebumps everywhere, perfect. So that's what I thought the new Avengers Infinity War trailer. What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments or send me an email. You can also find me in the various social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Tumblr. Just type in Nerd Bites anywhere and I'm sure you'll find me. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. And of course, keep it nerdy.